Hey guys, today I want to discuss with you what causes weight gain. It's a big topic and I'm about to break it down for you so that you understand why you're gaining weight and why you can't lose weight. So it's, it's more than just one thing and there's a, there can be several issues, but the main, the main reason we gain weight is insulin. Okay, so your body only really has two types of states. As, as far as met metabolic state. There's the fed state, okay, and there's the fasted state. So let me break it down. Probably everyone here, because I know I have, has gone on a 1200 calorie diet. You eat, you know, 400 calorie meals all day and you feel like shit and you're starving. But guess what? It doesn't ever work. <laughs> you go on these diets and you try and you're perfect and you work out and you're exhausted and you don't lose any weight. And you're like, what am I doing wrong? Or you lose a pound a week, some crazy ridiculous like one pound. Is that even weight or is that water weight? Like what happened? <laughs> so here's what the deal is. When you eat, your body produces insulin, okay? And it's telling your body to store energy. Okay. Now, when you only eat 1200 calories, which is far less than what your body needs, you know, the average person needs around 2 to 2500 cal 2000 to 2500 calories per day, the average woman, the average man, you can eat up to 5000 calories depending on your exercise, right? So, when you're in a fed state, any level of fed state, your body's producing insulin, okay? It's not in a in a burning state, it's in a storing state. On top of that, when you go on these 1200 calorie diets, which don't do it, it's January, don't do the 1200 calorie diet, I'm begging you, I'm begging you not to do the 1200 calorie diet because it's metabolic suicide, it kills your metabolism. Because your body is now like, crap, I'm not getting enough nutrients, but I'm getting some nutrients, so let me just slow down the whole engine, let me just take this bad boy down. So your and metabolism slows, and everything in your body is like, crap, let me hold, let me hold, let me hold. That's what happens when you eat low calories all day long. It's, it's ridiculous, it's stupid, doesn't work. Okay, now here's what happens in a fasted state. After about 12 to 16 hours, depending on what you're eating, depending if you're eating a high carb or a high fat diet, um, which I, of course, encourage a very high carbohydrate diet, um, which is against a lot of fasting experts or whatever, but um, because I believe in nutrition over everything. I believe in nutrients, minerals, vitamins, kidneys, okay? Kidneys is a big part of it too, like having really healthy functioning kidneys is really crucial. I'll get to that in a second. But the other part, the other um, metabolic state is fasted, okay? So when your body is in a fasted state, what happens? It's like, crap, we're out of insulin. We're out of sugar. Let's start burning up these storage, these storage of fat. And guess what? Your metabolism actually goes up and it's muscle sparing. It's actually muscle sparing to not eat anything at all. And your body actually starts burning up um, what's something in, in a process called autophagy. It starts burning up what? Cancer cells, fat cells, toxic cells. Toxic waste starts to be eliminated from the body. Yay, we lose weight. That's why when I do a fast, I can lose anywhere from, in 10 days, the most I've ever lost is 25 pounds in 10 days from just not eating, just drinking water or, or drinking some water and dry fasting. Now, I'm not trying to encourage you guys to start doing a fast. You know, if you've watched my videos, that fasting can be dangerous if done incorrectly. And the key crucial reason for that is that if you don't have your your liver cleaned out, your colon cleaned out, if your nervous system isn't functioning, if your adrenals are weak, if your kidneys are weak, if your skin isn't properly filtering, if your spleen is overloaded, if you have viruses, like there's a lot of issues that you need to um, handle before you go into water fasting or fasted state at all, okay? The thing is, if you watch people fast who just do fasting and they do like high protein and all this crap, they a lot of times plateau because they don't address those issues. They don't address the issues with the kidneys. They don't address the issues with the liver. So it's crucial that you address those issues first. And I encourage you to work with someone like myself or other healers out there to get your body completely balanced out before you just jump into water fasting. And that is why I have developed a 12-week program 
that includes fasting at the end after we've cleaned out your entire system. This program is going to be 12 weeks. It's going to be a small group program with six individuals who are also healing. And the individualized portion of this will be with your eye read. So we'll start by doing a consultation, which when you do the consultation, you have no obligation to doing the 12 week program. But when you do the eye read, if you just want to do the eye read with me, it's a one hour. We, you know, I analyze your eyes. I send you a 10 step guide to healing and er your herbal protocol. What herbs I feel are best for you based on what I see in your eyes. So that's my program to get you to a place where you can do fasting and you can do proper weight loss and you can really go deep and get rid of the toxins and get rid of the weight and feel your best. It's 2021. Let's feel our best this year. We have zero control of what happens outside of ourselves, really, truly. We are, some people say we're in a hologram and we're just basically projecting our own mind, our own thoughts out into the universe. And so whatever you think and feel is what you experience. So let's have this thinking, feeling experience be a freaking good one because there's so much to enjoy. There's so much to love. There's so much community and, and happiness available to you. You just have to go out and get it. Because remember, health is your wealth and we all deserve to be rich.